Today, we are learning a seriously handy skill, creating Google Forms right here on your phone, no laptop needed. Whether you are on the go or just prefer mobile, this tutorial's got you covered. Let's get started. Alright, on your phone, open your web browser, Chrome, Safari or whatever you prefer. Now, type in forms.google.com in the address bar and hit enter. This will take you straight to the Google Forms website. You should see the familiar Google Forms interface, just like on the computer. Let's make a summer picnic registration form. Tap where it says Untitled Form up top. And type in your title, Summer Picnic Registration or whatever you want to call your form. Perfect. Now, just below the title, tap where it says Form Description and tell people what your form is all about. Something like, join us for a fun-filled day. Works great. Now, time to add our first question. Tap the drop-down menu. This opens up the different question types we can use. Short answer, paragraph, multiple choice, checkboxes, drop-down, linear scale, even date, time, and file upload. For our first question, we want to collect people's name. So we'll choose short answer. Now, where it says question, type in your name. See this little required switch next to each question? Tap it to make a question mandatory. This is super handy for must-have info. Each question also has three dot menu. Tap in for more options. Add a description to the question, duplicate it to save time, or delete it if you change your mind. Excellent. Now tap the plus button at the bottom left to add a new question. This time, we'll ask for email addresses. So select short answer again. And type your email address as the question. Google Form is smart enough to know it's an email and will check the format automatically. Tap plus for another question. This time, let's use multiple choice. Our question is, will you be bringing a guest? Now tap option 1 and type yes. Then tap add option to add no. Great. Tap plus one more time. Let's see paragraph for this question. This will give people space to write a longer answer if they need to. We'll ask any dietary restrictions? Now, for some fun, let's try linear scale. We'll ask, how excited are you for the picnic? You can see the scale here. Let's go from 1 to 5 and we can label them too. For 1, type not at all. And for 5, type super excited. Okay, let's check out the settings. First, we have the quiz option. If you enable this option, it will turn your form into a quiz. You can choose to release grades immediately or later. You can also decide what respondents see, missed questions, correct answers, and point values. Finally, you can set a default point value for all questions. Next, responses. This is where you manage your data. You can collect email addresses, limit responses to one per person, and allow editing after submission. Then there is presentation. This controls how the form looks. You can show a progress bar, shuffle questions, and customize the confirmation message. Finally, defaults. You can set default settings for all your forms here, like collecting emails or making questions required. It will save your time later. Now let's go back to the main form editor. Tap the palette icon at the top of the screen to change the look of your form. You can add a header image, change the theme colors and even choose different fonts. Have some fun with it.
Happy with how it looks? Great. Tap the send icon. You can either send it directly via email or you can copy the link and share it anywhere. Finally, to see everyone's responses, go to the responses tab at the top. Here, you'll find a summary of all the answers and you can even create a spreadsheet to organize the data. And that's it. Creating Google Forms on your phone is that easy. With all these features, you can make professional surveys, quizzes and registration forms right from your phone wherever you are. Go ahead and give it a try. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thanks for watching.